Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED. The 5 is silent, here with a beer review. Today, I'm going to be tasting Ballast Point, is the company, the brewery, out of San Diego, California. Ballast Point Big Eye IPA. That's what the bottle looks like there. Okay, and just a little information on that. On Rate Beer, it rated at 100, I'm sorry, at a 98 out of 100. Uh, overall and a 98 in style that's that's pretty darn good and on uh, beer advocate it rated a 91 which is exceptional um, on rate beer that was after 1041 reviews and on beer advocate that was after 1440 reviews so that's that's some significant number of reviews and a significantly high score the commercial it's a seven percent Actually, one says 6.8, the other one says 7. So somewhere between 6.8 and 7% ABV. Uh, but let's read the commercial description. I'll quit hiding behind the bottle here. If you have fallen for the IPA style, like we have, Big Eye will be a welcome addition to your repertoire. You will, re you will revel in Big Eye's hoppy, bitter flavor, thanks to the American Columbus and Centennial hops that are used to flavor and dry hop our flagship IPA. We thank our hops every day that the English loved their bitters, or else the IPA style might not have been born to help the beer survive the journey from Cape Hope to India back in the 18th century. Anyway, uh, it sounds interesting. IBUs are rated at 85, so let's, um, where's my bottle opener? Here it is. All right, let's get it open, let's pour it, and let's look at it, smell it, taste it, and give our impression. Here we go. Can't tell if that's clear yet or not. And a nice one finger head on there. It's um, nicely carbonated, bubble sticking to the side of the glass there. The light's not giving you the best picture. Let me hold it up here. It's a brownish amber, you know, reddish, you know, uh, honey color. Um, about a one finger head on there, as I said. Wonderful aroma. Oh, oranges. And pine, you know, you hear those typical words, you know, when it relates to hops. Those are the ones I like to hear, and, and that's West Coast. Well, the Centennial, did they say Centennial and Columbus? Because those are two of the citrusy type hops, citrusy and piney. Smells wonderful, but you can also smell a malty sweetness in there, too. It almost smells like a double IPA, like some of the, some double IPAs, but let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very good. I'll give it a few more tastes to make sure, but I'm trying to identify it. It tastes similar to it's a combination. I don't know what it tastes similar to. You do you the malt does come through nicely. That bready, biscuity, malty taste. Hot bitterness is right there. It's definitely 85 IBUs or so, so it's it's not suffering uh, a lack of hot bitterness. Wow, malty and bitter. Um, not getting lots of citrus taste, um, you know, so all that uh, citrusy aroma doesn't necessarily translate into taste, and that's not necessary, um, but it's, just notice that. It's good. Imagine this is going to get better as it warms up. It's still a little on the cool side. Um, <clears throat> but I do like the fact that it's got, you know, enough malt coming through, so it's not just all about the hops. Um, and the hop bitterness is definitely noticeable, so you, you won't miss that. Uh, it'll definitely make itself known. But it, I'm, I'm looking for some more out of this. You know, it's their flagship IPA, and it's got great ratings, so I want to see if I'm missing something. Because I'm not jumping out of my chair saying, hey, I agree, 98. And it could be that I just don't have it warm enough yet. So but let's give it another swish and taste. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I got it warmed up just a little bit there, and it does have 
a little bit fuller flavor, a little bit more complex than it was just a moment ago. So I get the feeling that when this gets up to temp, um, it's going to be much more enjoyable. You know, I, if I were to you know give it a number right now, I don't know that I would go with a 98. Um, but who knows? You know, after I sip on it a while and give it more of a chance, and it warms up a little more. But again, there's you know there's plenty to like about it. Um, you know, the aroma, the malt backbone, the hop bitterness. Um, and again, you know, my, my preferences are a little narrowly focused into the citrusy, piney, um, you know, you've, you've seen my reviews, you know, which ones I tend to lean towards. Um, and again, I don't remember how much this cost. It's a single that I got. I have to look that up. So I don't know if this is something that's in the Lagunitas price range, which is amazingly, uh, you know, good pricing for, for the craft beers. Or if it's going to be up in the Weyerbacher or some of the others that uh, tend to charge, you know, on the upper end. Oh, that's getting nice. You definitely want to warm this up. Yeah, don't drink this ice cold out of the refrigerator, as you really shouldn't with any IPA. Remember, the, the darker the beer, the warmer it should be. And typically for IPAs uh, that are kind of in that medium range of the ales, uh, uh, darkness-wise... About 52 degrees Fahrenheit is a really good serving drinking temperature. So, um, yeah, this uh, this just needs to come up some more, and it's getting better as it does. So anyway, this is uh, Ballast Point Big Eye IPA. Give it a try. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.